Hello everyone, it's Louisa from Team Wheeler and we are back here at the NWT SPCA for another episode of Pet Project. <laughs> and right before we introduce Jinx, I just want to say thanks to our sponsor, NWT Nunavut Lotteries. And make sure you register for a subscription spot, your spot to manage your lottery subscriptions. All right. So as some of you might have already known before, Jinx has appeared on previous episodes of Pet Project, but we would like to bring her back for another one and make sure she finds her perfect fit. Craig, would you mind reintroducing Jinx to those who might not be familiar with her? For sure. So Jinx came, she's coming up on her two year anniversary um, in October, beginning of October, she will have been here for two years. She came from a Klavik. She's about to turn four. Um, and she really is a great dog. She's been in a couple foster homes, uh, but hasn't been able to stay long term. She's great with people, um, kids, adults. Uh, her big her big detriment is that she is quite reactive with, with dogs, but we have worked extensively with her. She wears the halty so that she doesn't focus on dogs when she's out. She walks in a perfect heel. Um, so she can be around dogs. Um, she just can't be off leash around any dogs. So you know, can't go to the dog park, can't go off leash at the sand pits. She just have to do on leash, uh, on leash hikes uh, with her. And then she's, she is phenomenal. She's great in the home. She can be left alone. Um, she knows tricks. She's obedient. She pays attention. She loves tennis balls, as we'll see. Um, she'll play with a tennis ball for forever. She'll, she'll go until the, till the end of days chasing a tennis ball. <laughs> Everyone always comes in and always questions why Jinx is still here. Uh, and it is, it's a puzzling question because she is so good. Um, you know, she's great in the home, like I said, with people. It's just, it really is just the, the other dogs. And she has had other dog friends. We've, we've worked quite, quite hard to find her dog friends. So she has had dog friends here. She's got one in, in house right now. So it's not that she can't ever be around dogs. Mm -hmm. um, she's been in a house with cats. Uh, she was indifferent to the cats. So, but she would prefer to be the only animal in the home. Um, but uh, but it's one of one of life's mysteries why she's still here. So we're still looking, still looking for that perfect home for her. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm sure there's someone in town just looking for a dog just like Jinx. So make sure you come down to the SPCA and say hi. And again, just so people know, how do they get in touch with you guys? Uh, <clears throat> they can either come in during our, our open hours, which are Wednesday at 6 to 8, or on the weekend, Saturday and Sunday from 1 to 3. Uh, or they can go online and get an adoption application and send it into adopt-foster at nwtspca.com and that goes to our adoption foster coordinator, Dana. And there you go, everyone. Um, yeah, so make sure to get in touch with the SPCA. Come by and say hi to Jinx. And make sure to check out all the other animals that are still up for adoption on their website. And you can still donate. <laughs> <laughs> you can still donate to the SPCA through Cabin Radio, and yeah, and so far that's it for Team Wheeler. Oh, we got another one. <laughs> <Always prepared. laughs> so yeah, we'll catch you guys next time for Pet Project. Thank you.